CRM with some recruits as well. As I speak, I recreated the infamous 56 mile yon. They will finish the day at CTCRM. And then on completion of the King's Squad Pass Out, they will be marching in honour of their feet, 56 mile, behind the King's Squad around camp. So you will see them. Ladies and gents, round of applause for them. Ladies and gents, what I will say is, is on completion of the uh, dignitaries that are in the, the greenery uh, presentations, when the VIPs leave, please stay seated because you've got a nice video to watch uh, after. Okay, Guys, I am now going to hand you over to the CO, Commando Training Centre. <coughs> Thank you. You can please give me a round. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Assam. Admiral, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Commandant, Colonel Simon Chapman, OBE, I'd like to offer you a very warm welcome to the Commanding Training Centre Limston on this very special occasion. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Scanlon, and I have the absolute privilege to be in command of the Commando Training Wing and be in command of the men passing out for duty here today. It's worth noting that 318 Troop are the largest recruit troop of 49 ranks to pass the duty in the last 11 years, which is a real treat. Yeah. We aspire to achieve the same level of operational proficiency here today. Your young men do not need any further training. They leave here as fully trained Royal Marine Commandos. When they get to the end of the parade later, you will hear a small but very significant change in language. Rather than being addressed as the King's Squad, you will hear the final command on the parade be Royal Marines, to your duties, quick march. Which is a historic moment for all of these young men. So now, a moment I know you've all been waiting for, and please feel free to clap and cheer as loud as you can. Admiral, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the King's Squad. Go back to my first comment, the largest single recruit troop in over 11 years. What an absolute pleasure it is to see a sea of Green Berets. These men are no longer recruits. They are now fully trained Royal Marine Commandos, ready to deploy at a moment's notice to protect the UK's interests. They have achieved the commando standard and they can now wear their Green Berets with pride. But with that comes great responsibility, and I would ask you, their families and friends, to help them with that throughout their career. So ladies and gentlemen, King Squad, shoot! One last time, I give you the King Squad.
Thank <laughs> you. 